Centura and Summit Ortho break ground on first of three new medical buildings coming to the county. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News. Today is groundbreaking on a 32,000 square foot medical building in Frisco, one of three new medical facilities in Summit this year. The building will soon be home to Centura offices and Summit Orthopedics, a branch of Panorama Orthopedics on the Front Range. Managing Surgeon Tom Friedmore. The building, I think, will be really attractive. It kind of have a stone and brick exterior. A lot of glass exposed area. About half of that new building is dedicated to orthopedics. The other half is new offices for occupational medicine, high altitude research, a sleep lab, and Bristlecone Health Services. Two of those are now in the aging offices next door. Once this is up, that old building will, will eventually kind of come down. Construction in Frisco should be finished next summer. Work on the other two new buildings, an urgent care facility and Vail Health Clinic, both in Dillon, begins this fall. It's a big day for the Breckenridge Troll when the town unveils a new paved path leading to the 15-foot-tall wooden structure now living in the woods behind the Breckenridge Ice Rink. That new path is wheelchair accessible with stone pavers and a wooden boardwalk. See the Troll today at 2.30 p.m. for an official ribbon cutting with town officials. That's today, 2.30, behind the ice rink in Breckenridge. A 41-year-old rifleman is guilty on two counts of vehicular homicide following a drunk driving accident in December 2017 that left two people dead and seriously injured a 10-year-old boy. The Post Independent reports a Garfield County jury yesterday found Cody Christopher guilty on both counts, carrying a term of up to 12 years each. His lawyers tried to prove he was not driving when the car slid on an icy road and tumbled down a cliff, killing two adult men. Prosecutors felt the excuse was convenient and jurors agreed. Construction begins later this year in a large apartment complex at Trayer Creek, east of Avon, the first major project on prime real estate there in more than a decade. The Vale Daily reports on plans for 240 apartments on an empty site between Avon Town Limits and the Walmart complex. Walmart was built in 2003 and an office building finished in 2006. Since then, hardly any development has happened on privately held parcels between Avon and Trayer Creek. The Walmart development led to years of bickering between the town and property owner when Walmart left town limits dealing a major blow to Avon's sales tax revenue. Tomorrow is Colorado Bike to Work Day as tens of thousands trade gas for pedal power. Stop by one of seven local breakfast stations tomorrow for bagels, juice, coffee, and more from 7 to 10 a.m. There's one in every town plus Keystone and Summit Cove. And don't even think about ditching your bike because of the weather. Forecast tomorrow calls for temps in the high 60s with a 1 in 10 chance for rain. Local fire danger is low today with no fire restrictions. In sports, the Rockies beat the Giants last night 2 to nothing. Today, the Rockies continue their series with the Giants at 7:15 on ESPN. And in local sports, brought to you by American Family Insurance, the Weiss Agency, second race in the Summit Trail Running Series is tomorrow, Wednesday, on 5K and 8K courses at French Gulch and Breck. Get signed up at BreckenridgeRecreation.com. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.